Imini ye sabata, aibe ya nze kwa wanzwele. Sizo hula nge shabele lo wansisti, ingo sibu sepala magweba. Liti li zvila makwala, aya we saba e upa. Oh, 
Today's topic says that we have one God. We have one God. Um, I will start off by reading the sixth book of Matthew, chapter six, verse eleven. Verse eleven. Nebo benzingela. Bekuma bonke ogubingani, betamba manga ngen mayami. Jablani in towers and ogoba umvozueno, mkulu ezuin. Goguba ganjalo, baba zingela, aba profeti, aba nendulela. The, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, from verses 11. I, I want to explain about this verse. O Yeshua Oti Babusis Nibusis no Maben Tuba. Yeshua says, Blessed are you even though you are insulted. Benizingela and hunted and hunted upon. Bekrumabonke Ogubingani. Speaking 
speaking bad things about you and fabricating against you. Rejoice and declare that was great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Um, these words that were spoken by Yeshua simply mean that speaking or pronouncing the word of God and then being insulted is, not, is something that's not new. Yeshua was speaking to his uh, followers. Comforting them. God of and speaking the truth at the same time. Ebajela uma ukuluma inda bagangkulungkulu abantu bese bekuzingela abantu bese bekuluma gongo kubinga we aksiona inde kalamange e e e zisho ngeskatsak. Saying the saying to them that um, the issue of pronouncing uh, the gospel of God and then being insulted is nothing new. And he spoke that during his era. Otige uyeshua na na semandulo aba prophet ba bebula wa bebula elukume kenis. And he said that uh, the prophets that came before him were also persecuted for being true for speaking the truth. Na manje si sebun zime ni boguti aswazi ukuti kume e kenis oligan kulumbulu bokululeng. Tell this very day we are faced with the predicament that. Whenever we pronounce uh, God's gospel, we cannot speak that freely. Even the Nazarites, which we come from, despise us and they speak. They speak bad things about us. And the Christians have also joined in doing the same. And they do not want us to be honest about God. I have been called for many meetings at the radio station Ukozi FM and they uh, were speaking against uh, speaking against me for speaking the truth about God. There is much talk that's going around. They said that I should not speak about other faith systems apart from my own faith system, which is the Nazarite faith system. But the problem is that uh, the people are saying that I should only speak about the Nazarite faith. They do not even know what the faith is about. If God, if God ordains that there should be a certain law and uh, he says that people should not do any something, and uh, I'm, I'm not allowed to tell the people that. And when I say that, I am uh, categorized as being judgmental. Um, I, I, I want people to know that as I stand, I, I was not inspired. I, I was not inspired to to preach the word of God. But an angel came to me and she knelt before me and said that she has been sent by Shemba the second that I must teach the people the true way of how to worship God, Yahweh. I was not mandated by heaven to preach about Shembe or the Nazarite faith. 
kwatwa umyalezo wa uqondile wa uthi ngiyofundisa abantu ngo Jehova but the message was clear and I was told that I should teach the people about Yahweh. What you are fully selling Guami, Bonke about the Mojova, Gio Landela is in Fundiso, Zom Prophet, a Fundisama Nazareta, Mojova. And I was told that in my teaching I would follow, I would follow the teachings of the prophet that he taught the people regarding Yahweh. Ngakoke ngiyafisa kuba ama Nazareta nama Kristu na noma imuphu umuntu aqonde ukuthi noma ngaphuma ebandeni lama Nazareta ebandeni la kwashembe ngokushoko kwabantu kodwa ngithunywe ukuba ngifundise abantu ngo Jehova So I wish that the Nazarites and the Christians and every other congregant to understand that I was sent uh, to teach all people about Yahweh, despite me coming from the Nazarite faith. Gengati inglosi ingchela lo kungai buza mi nangati. Jengoba eban lila ma Nazarite abanda ba ngaba kodi ba 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 wa shame. Mi nangzoba mkodi ganja nwe abanda la ma Nazarite ginga si na o wa shame. Gai buza. I asked the angel that since it is custom that within the Nazarite faith. The leaders are always from the Shambh family. How will I be able to lead uh, this congregation whilst I'm not uh, from the Shambh family? Inglosi yang pendu ulayati. Ubaba ilanga aga shomo uguti uyo kola ibanda la wa Shambh. She answered me by saying that Shambh the second did not say that you are going to lead a congregation that belongs to the Shambh family. Kodwa ubaba ilanga uthena makhele ibandla lika Jehova but she, but uh, Shembe the second said that build for him a church uh, that belongs to Yahweh Ngakho ke ngilandela imendeti yami ngokuqondile uma ngabe kuzo zonke injuru amayelo zami ngikhuluma ngo Jehova ngikhuluma ngomthetho ka Jehova ngikhuluma ngenqubo yokukholwa ka Jehova Therefore I am abiding by the mandate that was given to me if I speak about Yahweh his laws and his precepts Ukuthi nga nganga de ngikholwe phi nokuthi ngathunywa ubani akusho lutho lo yebo ngathunywa ubaba ilanga Oh shame. Whatever the background to my faith was is not an issue anymore. But what matters is that I was sent to I was sent to speak about Yahweh. I was sent by Shembe the second to speak about Yahweh. And he continued by saying that in my preaching or in my teachings, I will take from the teachings of the prophet Isaiah Shembe, a peace be upon him, uh, the teachings that he taught the Nazarites as to how to worship Yahweh. And that is what I'm still doing. And I will not I will not receive a second mandate from the Nazarites, but I will only abide by the mandate uh, of Yahweh. Whether they are angry against me or insult me, I do not care. What I'm attentive to is whether I am uh, pursuing what Shemba the Second mandated me to do. Oguti eti angimakele in zuga Jehova esho ibad. That I should build for him a house of God, and by that he meant this the the church. And oguti guleli ibanda go fundi sabantu go Jehova agako muni ngapando go Jehova. And that within that congregation I will solely uh, teach about Yahweh. Nanoguti ezimfundi sweni zami ngonche hova ngilandele 
Isimfundiso zom prophet who is a shem. Ikutula mbibu. And that in my teachings, I will follow the teachings of the prophet Isaac and the peace be upon him. After Nanga, Loko Kuluma Mshaga 4, January 2010, Godwa, Wabuye Futi Inglosia Pinda, Mshaga 26, U March 2011, Mshaga is on top. Um, the angel did not only uh, speak those words during the month of January 2000 and and ten, he she also spoke those words when she came to anoint me in on the twenty sixth of March, twenty eleven. twenty six March, twenty eleven. On the twenty sixth of March, two thousand eleven, when the angel was here to anoint me, she said that uh, Shemba the second was present. God but I could not see him. And she said that uh, Shembe the second has, is telling me that I should say thank you to you for everything that you have done for Shembe and the Nazarites. But you are henceforth mandated that you should teach people about Yahweh. Ubaba ngengati e kulumango kuti uyabonga ngente ngayenzela ushembe nama nazareta waisho ngoba ziningi izinto engazenzela ushembe nama nazareta kusugele kukule nguwano And when he said those words, those words he meant it was there are many things that I did for Shembe and the Nazareth since I was uh, in my youth Angenge nguwazi guzbaza guzbala zonke I will, I'm, I'm unable to mention all of them. But uh, Gusubela Obama Mkulu wa hambe msabeni eh, ama krestu aka ilumbu luguti wazama undiza. Uh, but since the prophet passed away on earth, the Christians came together and fabricated a story that the prophet tried to fly. La Lero Lumba Al Suga Banda Mamyama La Suga Ma missionaries I'm sure. And it is the white missionaries that conjured up that fabrication. But to get Basebe Tumage Abanda Bamyama Gutili Vangel Bel Shumay. And it is the black uh, people who were then deployed to preach that around. Giayaz in Kulumo Ea Kulum Abusem Slang and Win Abelungu Uti. I am aware of the uh, speeches or the talks that were carried out in the meeting that the white people had when they said that they want to do away with the prophet. There was no uh, black person who was there. It was only the white clergy. Fortunately, there was a white man who was fond of the prophet who wrote it down that there was a pen being conjured up so that uh, they may uh, uh, fabricate, a, fabricate a story about the prophet. Nembela what may say hambi dum propheti was a kamga in daba yuguti ush um propheti ube mtu wa manga eti unkulungulu wazama uguti endize endabini ya sentla ngras. And such did manifest for when the prophet passed away the fabrication was then preached around that the prophet tried to fly uh, from uh, Mount Kanagas. He stuck wings to himself and then tried to fly and then he died. And that was not the end of it. They went on to uh, draw an image of the prophet wearing a garment that had wings 
and it was written that he was trying to fly. Lesi stombe uma utu pegu ubaba mkulu upega inde wa salulu anje onga zuti kwa wenzu wanla. And when you look at this picture, you just see something that looks like an animal that you can't understand. Though I do not have that picture now, I had it, but there are still other Nazarites which do have that picture. Go 1994, and in 1994, I then took a stand and went to Ukozi FM, which was then known as Radio Zulu. And then I, I, I clearly pronounced or argued against it as being a lie. And there are many a times that I have spoke against this, saying that this has been fabricated by the prophet's enemy. Today, many people are shy or shy away from saying that for they know that it was a fabrication. Firstly, they are unable to explain as to what are the origins of this talk and how this transpired. But the problem about the black people is that they their thinking is equated to the thinking of a monkey. They just take anything that has been said by the white man as true, and when you try to uh, illuminate them with the truth, they just fight against you. No matter how nonsensical uh, this might be, so long as it is told to them by the white man, it is okay. And that is why at times I always say that uh, the black people are like those baboons which were, which were told by the rabbit that we sh they should sing, that we are the ones who killed the lion's cub, and indeed those baboons sang that song. And when the lion heard that, and it was also narrated by this rabbit, the lion then went to kill all those baboons. There are many people who are going to perish simply from, from their stupidity. And for whatever it is that they are told by the white men, they repeat it despite uh, having thought how true it is. And no matter how much you may tell to, you may tell them that what they believe in is is but void, they just grow angry against you. I, I want, I, I hope that uh, intelligent and wise Christians will think about what I'm saying. I want the Christians to argue against the fact that uh, Mary's son was Yeshua and that the name Yeshua was given to him by the angel. 
Gata epa ipeli ni kupalu kuti ingilosi ya ati indota naga Maria uches. But in the Bible it is written that the angel said that uh, Mary's child is Jesus. Uma oso buzu kuti jango ba ingilosi ya tu Yeshua ujesu kamga ganjani besebeti u Yeshua no Jesu kuyafana. And when you ask them that since the angels in the Bible said that uh, the, this baby will be known as Yeshua, then how did Jesus come about? And then they tell you that those names mean the same thing. But what is true is that uh, the etymology of the word Isus comes from the Greeks. Uh, despite anything that it might mean, it does not come from uh, the Bible. Normally, kama lisho ngempela uguti Yeshu 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 aleleti Jesus. Kato ox oxala yo uguti u Yeshu agasiena u Jesus. Even if uh, this name Jesus would be translatable to Yeshu, what remains is that Yeshu is not Jesus. In other words, what is written in the New Testament is not true. And many Christians are aware of the fact that Mary's son was Yeshua, not Jesus. That is why they are now coming up with the lie that Yeshua and Jesus mean the same thing. And those who are saying that if I name my child in my vernacular language and call him Sbusiso, and then they translate it to blessing, the fact of the matter is that he is not blessing, or that is not what I named him. His name is Sbusiso. Lendo, isabala, I think uguti uze ube uislagane puguibon guti, ayi kolendo esifundi swaba. This is clear, and you need not be an intellectual for you to understand that what we are being taught is a lie. I go in the good thing about no, 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 Mandela, as I oh, Mandela, a cool, oh, Mandela, as the office of Mandela, Besser Guti Enva was cut, said, Come, this is his way, Zim Cambilly, Gama, Besser Chim, or Lily Mandela, said, Tata Lily is his. It cannot be that we would have Mandela being born a South African, uh, grow up as Mandela and pass away being known as uh, Mandela, then other nations uh, name him and then they dispose of the name Mandela and use what they have came up with. Even if you could translate uh, the name Mandela to any other language, but the question would be why why is there need for you to translate it and leave and, and not Abad, Mandela. People do not want to interrogate as to why is it that the name Yeshua is not even mentioned in the Bible, but they constantly use Jesus? What was the intention of that? History does provide an answer to that, but people who are Christians do not want to accept the facts that are brought forth. Oma, Ufanele uguti, sitaze uguti, la la selani ika metu Yeshua, wasikufagwa ika metu Jesus, no ma Jesus. If the Bible is known as the book of truth, then it must be explained to us why, why did they do away with the name Yeshua and, uh, and use the name Jesus. Ingilosi ya afige yati u Jesus, joba ngupalwe kui testament, no ma yafi yati u Yeshua. 
Did the angel use the name Jesus as written in the Old Testament in the uh, uh, New Testament or the angel said Yeshua? Zininga kulu izi ndo e bawe e bai belini engali e zinga lona ikenis o fane luguti abanda manga o Christo best hazel luguti gumi ganja anila. There are many things that are written in the Bible which are not true, and uh, people who are Christians should come out and explain how this came about. Ama Christo ati ujesu noma u Yeshua u u u Christians say that uh, Jesus is their uh, leader, spiritual leader. God, the umbuzo uti, gina manga ini mangiti, uye shua wazo wa hamba emshabeni, gungeko ubu Christ, gina manga ii. But the question is at hand is whether I'm lying if I say that Yeshua passed away on earth uh, and he was not a Christian and the Christian faith was not formed by that time. Ungarusha ganja nguti umto hambe msabe ni ewe nyingolo. Beset maese hambe msabe ni gusu tuena ungo wako. Kota, wainga koli wengkolo ni yako, enga yazi nugu yazi. Ungarusha ganja nlo. How can a, how can you say that a person lived under a certain faith and then when they have passed away you then claim them to be under your faith despite that person never being uh, belonging to your faith and having no knowledge about your faith. How can you say that? Today you hear a Christian, some other Christians referring to themselves as apostles, but the apostles during their time were not Christians. They until they passed away from this earth, they were under the faith system of Yahweh. Laba banda bati bang abab postoli bang apanzi go Christ. But abab postoli abaya zingole o Christ. Na manga ni mangshonja. These people who say that they are apostles are under the faith system of of Christianity, but the real apostles were never Christians. Am I lying when I say that? And it is said that Yeshua was born through Immaculate Conception. But in the Bible, it is only Matthew who has said that it, yeah, Yeshua was born through Immaculate Conception. Other apostles do not speak about that. Even, uh, even Paul argues against the teaching that Yeshua was born through Immaculate Conception. Am I lying when I say that? And when you say that uh, Yeshua was not born through Immaculate uh, con Conception, you are a, you are someone who is astray or lost. In other words, if you follow the teachings of the apostles, you are lost. Apart from the doctrine of the Christians, only Matthew has came out and wrote that uh, Yeshua was born through the Immaculate Conception. And but if you read history, you find that the book which has now which has now been named Matthew was originally the Gospel of the Nazarenes. And it was it was changed by Jerome when he was uh, translating the book into his own language, which was Latin, and he made it uh, such that it would fit into the doctrines of his religion. And 
and his religion was also following that of Babylon, uh, which have which has three gods which are uh, get born. Am I lying when I say that? It is not a lie, for this is a historic a historical fact which has been written by Christians as well. In other words, the name Jesus is not known in heaven. But people grow insane over Jesus whom they have never seen and they dream about still. Am I lying when I say that this name Jesus was then given to a young Italian lad uh, whose name is Caesar Borgia? Uh, even if you were to go onto the internet and search for, for Caesar Borgia, you'll find that he his image has been used uh, as the image of Yeshua. Since we leave, we are being made fools, but when you actually come out to tell people the truth, they they uh, they then say that you are uh, practicing apostasy. How can it be that an angel would descend from heaven to tell us that we must correct or make straight the faith system of Yahweh and then we are denied that by people? How can that be? Amanga, noma ungawaka imnyaga ngemnyaga akolwe zikiti zabantu kote hao sale ngamanga ngeli nila ngitenso liyo veru uti amanga you can build up lies for years and try to maintain that but the truth is that at the end of the day it will come clear to people that this is a lie abandu bafundi so akuthi shembe wandiza iminyaka ngeminyaka nathi sakufunda lokhe sikolini kodwa sesiyazi nabantu abaningise beyazi ukuthi amanga la for years people were taught that shembe tried to fly we were also taught that at school but uh, we now know that it was a lie and the truth has come out. A book was written which is now, is, no, is now known as the Bible and they said that it is the holy book which nobody may argue against but the truth has come to light. We now know that there is no Person who is not Jesus. Giganga funda three sixty five AD. Babanum Isabata there's a book on history that I read which, uh, says, which said that in the year 3, 365 AD there was a law which uh, uh, said that if you were found to observe the Shabbat, you would be uh, uh, killed. And many people suffered that persecution just, for, just because they had observed the Shabbat. But that is not what we are taught in churches. In, in, in churches we are taught that the 
Shabbat was changed to a Sunday, for that is the day that Yeshua rose from the dead. Or that the Shabbat was done away with uh, since we now live under a new covenant. But in what your land, the Kazi Uguti is Sabata la Etwa in Korea, my Roma, Washawa Umteti, Ama Creti. Ati mage wa tolagala umundu Eshu santa nge soto uyo bulawa Ba bulawa nge mbela ba Ntube bulawa yungu nge sabata But many books on history will tell you That the Shabbat was done away with By the Roman uh, Roman Christians And they they made up creeds Came up with creeds Which said that if you were found To observe the Shabbat You would be persecuted And indeed that was kept Goba nje abelu mbati ii pae peli li ngwate ngwele ngegi pigi iswe Na hati sasye kola loko Nga pande gogubuzu kuti Lento alena po lento ihamba ganja ni mba Umlando uhamba ganja Asi mbuzu loko Just because the white people then wrote the battle And attacked it as a holy book that cannot be argued against we are now fearful of questioning it when it comes to historical facts. I was surprised that I was surprised when I read that uh, at a particular time after the Bible had been put together. Uh, some people came and held meetings and canonized it and then said that these are holy uh, books. Jengobangisho, la pagiti wafika ingi losi as chelu kuti lezi zinte ni ifunda yo as lona ikri niso kotwa ikri tolo hamba ganje, ganje, ganje. As I am narrating to you that amongst us there came an angel which shed light to us and told us that some of the things that we are reading in the Bible are not true. And then she then told us what is true. Ushembe ubaba ilanga. Owachi. Gishamana zaleta nga sahambi ngende nga Jehovah. Nga koke nga kela ibanda elizo fundisa wa Jehovah. Wash ubaba ilanga loba. It is Shembe the second who told. It is Shembe the second that told me that even the Nazarites are no longer abiding by the laws and precepts of Yahweh. Therefore, build me a church that teaches about Yahweh. challenge and therefore, this is an open challenge to all Christians that they should prove whether I'm lying when I say that the true name of the uh, son of Mary was Yeshua, not Jesus. Am I lying when I say that Yeshua knows nothing about Christianity and that up until he passed on, he knew nothing about Christianity and it did not exist. Am I lying when I say that the uh, uh, apostles of Yeshua left Jerusalem to preach about uh, the faith system of Yahweh? They knew nothing about the uh, Christian faith. Am I lying when I say that the faith system of Yahweh was done away with by the Christians? Am I lying when I say that uh, the name Yahweh was taken out from the Bible by the Christians? Am I lying when I say that the name Yahweh was taken out from the Bible by the Christians? 
le ndoda na kama Maria uyeshua la kishwa in God of Christ we New Testament kwa sefaka u Jesus noma u Jesus gena manga hi in my line when I say that it is the Christians which took out from the New Testament the true name of Mary's son which was Yeshua and they used the name Jesus manja ngenzela kanjani ukuthi kufike ingilosi kimi izongifundisa ngeyiqiniso elaziwe ezulwini bese ngiphikiswa ngiphikiswa ngokuthini ngoba abantu abangiphikisa abafana lebelethe ubufakazi bokuthi lente ngishumayelayo ingamanga then how would it come about that an angel would come from heaven and teach me a divine truth that is also known in heaven and then people just come come forth and say that what i'm preaching is a lie ngakho ke namhlanjena eh ama kristu afuna uNkulunkulu ngithi ake hambe eyobheka ukuthi lente ngikhuluma ingamanga yi Therefore I'm saying to the Christians who are seeking the true God that they should go out there and research whether what I'm speaking is a lie. Gezula. I I I pass passing away from that. Ingwadi ka Amos 2 verse 4 to 5 ibale kanje. The book of Amos uh chapter 2 verses 4 to 5 verses 4 to 5. Usho kanje ujova uthi ngenxa yezibhambeko ezintathu zaba kwa Juda yebo ngenxa yezine angikuguquka ngokuba bawulahlile umthetho ka Jehova abagcinanga izimiso zakhe namanga abo abadukisile abawulandelanga nawoyise kepha ngothuma umlilo kwa Juda uqede izindlu the book of Amos uh, chapter 2 verses from verses 4 this is what the Lord says for three sins of Judah even for four I will not relent because they have rejected the law of the Lord of Yahweh and have not kept his decrees because they have been led astray by false gods the God their ancestors followed I will send fire on Judah that will consume the fortresses of Jerusalem. There are two things that God is speaking about in this book. He says that our first transgression was to not abide by his laws. The second one says that we lied. And through these lies we led people astray. And these are lies that have aged since our forefathers. I've explained uh, how, how much uh, we have been lied to and uh, it came to a point that we, we believed in these things but they were a fabrication. If what I've stated to be a lie is the truth, then people should come out and explain how is it true. Abantu umangawe bengenu shubuga, bengenwe ba 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 ke amanga, ngongulungu. When people want to practice apostasy, they then conjure up lies about God. In the book of Exodus 20, verses 1 to 3, these are the words of God. And God spoke all these words, I am the Lord your God, Yahweh, 
who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. Ngama nyamazi, uma ukolo ngulungulu o Jehovah, ukolo ngulungulu o yeto, ngobagusha o yena, uti unga kolo wabanyo ngulungulu nga pande wami. In other words, if you believe in Yahweh, then you believe in one God. For that is what he, he has said, that you shall only believe in me and no other gods. And to support that, God then came back again and spoke these words in the book of Isaiah 43. The book of Isaiah 43 from verses 10. You are my witnesses, declares Yahweh, and my servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me and, under, and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor will there be one after me. This is, law, this is a law by God that cannot be changed by anyone. And God will also not change it. Interpretation of statutes. Uh, whilst I was studying, there's a module that I did, which uh, uh, which was known as, and I studied something known as interpretation of statutes. In also interpretation of statutes, uguti uguazi jengo jengo mto wazumteto ugu funda inde palwe pans uguti itazuti. The chief intention for that module is so that it provides you with the skills and the abilities to be able to read a law and understand what it is what it is saying umthetho uthi into uma umuntu eyibhalile iyumthetho funda ingqondo yalo muntu oshaye umthetho according to the law it says that when a person has written something and and ordained it as a law you must understand the mind of the person who has written that law ngoba umuntu oshaye umthetho akakazi ukuthi aziphikise for if a person ordains a law, he cannot then uh, go against the law that he has uh, ordained. And therefore, uh, in academic studies, you are not allowed to then take something that is a law and then interpret it such that it goes against what the person was in was intending to say. You follow the intention of the lawmaker. In other words, for a person who has written a law cannot then dispute themselves. If I've said that you should not consume pork, I then cannot say again that you should consume pork. If I stay, if I stated a law that you should observe the Shabbat, I cannot now again state a law that goes against that. But umuntu may say no shubuga, umbona ngoba ehambe funama vesi, a pigi saloko shombulungu. But when a person wants to practice apostasy, they go around looking for verses that can go or argue against what God has said. Shemba the second once said that there is nothing that you cannot find in the Bible if you want to, to practice apostasy. Job chapter 
ngoba umuntu uyokufuna lokho ezokuthole ngoba ufuna ngoba uhlubukile if you want to consume alcohol despite the fact that god has forbidden us to consume it you will find that in the bible for you want to practice apostasy what unkulunkulu singagundi kodwa uma umuntu sehlubukile uyokufuna lapha ethi unkulunkulu khona ebese ethi unkulunkulu lapha wathi gunda eyiphikisa yena God said that we should not shave our heads but when you want to practice apostasy you are going to come up with verses that say that uh, permit you to shave your head Unkulunkulu uwazibala wakubala ukudla esingakudla nokudla esingeke ngudla kodwa uma usuhlubukile uyowafuna amavesi athi asidle konke God did tell us which foods are clean and unclean for us to consume but when you want to uh, practice apostasy you are going to find the verses which say that we may consume everything unkulunkulu wathi singayeza ngomeni singaguli kodwa uma usuhlubukile uyowafuna amavesi athi hayi ungagula god said that we should not uh, visit uh, diviners for them to provide us with visions but when you want to practice apostasy you will find verses that said that say that you can uh, consult diviners oko impikiso ke ukuthi uma umuntu sengene ukuhlubuka uyayihambe efuna amavesi ebhayibhelini aphikisa lokho okushiwe uNkulunkulu what is true is that when a person wants to practice apostasy they uh, search for verses in the bible that argue against what god has said kodwa umthetho interpretation of status ithi umuntu owakhe umthetho akakwazi ukuyiphikisa emthethweni owakhile but according to the studies of interpretation of statutes it says that a person cannot dispute the law that they have stated uh, using other laws nokuthi wena ohumusha inkulumo ungayihumusha ngendlela ukuthi umuntu owakhe umthetho ubeyiphikisa and that I, when whenever you then interpret that statute or uh, i mean the law that has been made by that person you should not do it such that it comes across as if this person was speaking against himself ngiyafisa ukuba ngifunde incwadi ka Isaiah 9 verse 6 i wish to read the book of Isaiah 9 verse 6 uthi ngokuba sizalelwe umntwana siphiwe indodana umbuso uyokuba semahlombe akhe negama lakhe kodwa umeluleki omangasayo unkulunkulu onamandla uh, the book of isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 for to us a child is born to us a son is given and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god everlasting father prince of peace Buyo aba amahlubuka ke athathelela igama lokuthi uNkulunkulu onamandla basebe ethi kodwa uNkulunkulu wathi uyena yedwa kodwa lona uYeshua eh unaye ubizwa ukuthi uNkulunkulu ngakho ke oNkulunkulu banengi people who then want to practice apostasy use this verse and they take on what is written which says mighty god and then they say that god said there is only one god but Yeshua is also classified as being a mighty god so therefore there are many gods lengwadi abayifundile iku Isaiah kodwa u Isaiah futhi u Isaiah 43 uyena othena uNkulunkulu okhulume ku uNkulunkulu wathi uyena yedwa akakho uNkulunkulu wakho abakhona akekho uNkulunkulu oyofika but what they are speaking about is written in the book of Isaiah uh but it is also God in the book of Isaiah who said that there is there has no there has never been any god for him and that there shall be none after ngama nyamazi lo muntu noma laba bantu bathi u Isaiah okhuluma izinto embili wafike wathi uNkulunkulu uthena uyena yedwa wabuye futhi wathi kuwo bakhona uNkulunkulu kusho abantu abahumusha le in other words uh, the people who say this mean that a god spoke two things 
He firstly said that there is no other God beside him, and then he also came back to say that there is another God. God, I was a good Uhumuja in Kulumo, Goguchi Umundo Oake Umteto, we are pigs. Nasa Kulmegum. But you cannot interpret any law such that the person who made that law is uh, saying things that contradict. Nam in Jenga Sen Kulunkulu, Anguaz Ushaya Umteto, Ogutin Tang and Zio, Besefuti, Giti in the Chizu Ang and Zio. I was once a lot. Who yeming at being who am shamted, and was once a dead. Even in, in, in a case, in, in, my, in my own case, I cannot uh, speak something and forbid it and then uh, have somebody else interpret or come up with something else that I said that it should be done. God, Lenkulumo, in a Nazelo, in that. But this has three explanations to it. Oh, Kalang and Zaga, which he Isang has ever called. Firstly, it is possible that it has never even existed. Secondly, is that if you took on the Hebrew Bible, this is not what is, is, is written. Third, is that this, it is clear that this is figurative. It is possible that it does not exist in the sense that if you took on the Hebrew Bible, it does not refer as, as mighty God. For there are many errors that are like that. was in New Testament, in the Old Testament, what we should know is that the, both the New Testament and the Old Testament are books that were uh, put together by the Christians. And the and the Christians that uh, the Christians that spoke about Jesus had already uh, claimed that he was God. And Old Testament, and when they say that Jesus is Christian, they are also the ones who uh, took on the Old Testament, and it is possible that they could have said that Yeshua is God. And therefore, apart from seeing the original text that is written in Hebrew, you cannot say that this is true. For we have came uh, to the knowledge that there are many things that are written in the Bible that are not true. Over Spili, we are taught that Oguti, Lili Kamalu Chungkulungkulu, who is I a one seven zisa, Mungategi, a figure it. Secondly, it is clear that. Uh, um, the book of Isaiah would have used this word God figuratively. And there are many places. Because there are many places that speak about God but have used that term figuratively. It is not only this book. But Gulabo Abaluela Uguti. But to those who are campaigning for the Bible to have uh, other gods, uh, they are going around looking for verses that will support their apostasy. 
iloku ama nazareta a a a a se pizi egwenzo hambe befuna ama vesi azo pigi sa unku 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 ukutu uyena yedu and that is what the nazarites are currently doing going around looking for verses that dispute the fact that there is only one god babe hambe befuna ne nkulume kwa kuluma kwa kuluma kona umsambe umprofeti noma ubaba beyibona le nto ukuthi ayisho le nto ishoyo kodwa bese beyifaka ukuthi ichaze le nto esengqondweni yabo yokusuku and they go around looking for things that have been said or were said by the prophet Oshemba the second and then they interpret it such that it fits what is in their minds bezame ukuthi bethi kukhona trying to point out that there are teachings in what was said by the prophet that there are also other gods besides Yahweh. Just like how they are doing in the book of Isaiah by saying that this verse means they, that they are other gods, but they can clearly see that this is figurative. And this is also the case in a worship of ancestors. God has put it clearly that you should not worship ancestors and you should not uh, affiliate yourselves with uh, such spirits in any way and if you do so you should uh, be uh, persecuted god has clearly put it that you should not uh, consult diviners or spiritists for you are holy the prophet has spoken greatly about uh, uh, offerings to our ancestors. And the prophet has spoken greatly about uh, diviners. But they go around looking for things to point out as being said as having been said by Ashemba the second to say that he was arguing about Yahweh and the prophet but it is he who has said that we should uh, abide by the teachings of the prophet it is not that this was said only said by the angel, but he also said this whilst he was alive. He put it clearly that I leave you with the laws of the prophet. The, the Nazarites know that. But to those who want to practice apostasy or have with them the, the spirit of apostasy, they then take the words of Shemba the second to go against what has been said by Yahweh and the prophet. As you are gathered here, you should know that there is nothing or anybody which can go against what has been said by Yahweh. You cannot use the prophet or manipulate what the prophet has said so that it can go against what Yahweh has said. Saying some, as I explained that uh, in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, that this is a figurative talk, and you cannot use 
something that is figurative to dispute what is literal. Uma ejuba wa ilanga. Umprofeti wa yu nkulu nkulu ngwa ake. Loko kufana luku understand kuti. Wanga kazu kuti umprofeti nkulu nkulu. If Shemba the second has said that the prophet was on his own nature a god, that does not mean that he was saying that there is he was disputing against what he speaks. For when you read uh, that uh, when you read that it is clearly that he was not saying that the prophet is equated to God. God to laba bandu abangeno kshubu gaba befunu guti loko gushu guti ushembe unkulu unkulu kanti bangeno kshubu gaba ushemba gaba azo kikis unkulu unkulu but to the people who want to practice apostasy they then said they then say that shembe was saying that there is also a second God but shembe cannot dispute what God has said Guna njumae lo enge enge itori hambe ya kiuwa pa ya kiuwa pa gati beti ubaba 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 ilanga waifu ni suguti a slave la majos. Onga ilo ni kinis. There is a talk that I always find which was trimmed and they say that Shembe the second was saying or has taught that we should slaughter for our ancestors. And when you read everything else in that context, you find that this is not what is being said. Even if he had said he had said that we cannot follow what he said. For it is him that whilst he was alive that said that we should we will follow we should follow the teachings of the prophet and the laws of the prophet, not his. In other words, if you find anything that was said by the prophet contradicting with that which is said by Shembe the second, and you go on to follow what it was said by Shembe the second, then you are transgressing. Gaba ngubaba ilanga oati umanga be gubane kulu mo yami e pamba na nega baba mkulu ni nani olandela inkulu mo noma infundi so baba mkulu kwa shuba bilanga lo. For he is the one who said that if there is anything that I say which contradicts what was said by the prophet, you will follow what was said by the prophet. Apart from that, apart from the fact that Apart from the fact that the same was reiterated by the angel, he also said that whilst he was still alive. Ngakoge tina esi ofiki nglosi giti ya sfundi sa mteto kwa nkulu nkulu asina matele mtetweni kwa nkulu nkulu. So to us who have witnessed the presence of the angel, we should abide by the law of God. Kosi, kosi gubu sise. Kose gobo sise lobo Oh, 
Sin Lom Sevenzi or Shia Usela M. Savin Unga Pay Salaguanko Suba Moyawako Weselegiti Sibena Moyawako Shembe Singa Sugi and Lirinia Quas Fundi Sayon Yogubanko says Conzo Jehovah Yogubanko says to me so Jehovah Sakara Babam Kool Uba Us kumbu, umau shiela pa imsaben, wati asenzo msebenzo utumia wone zubin, uba bantu kwa msebeni, ba phone diyo kuti ujawa fanele kwa zilanja, stelan kwa skuba singa suli bulo kwa sfundi sako, sima phone saba bantu kuti ujawa ukwa zilanja, usenzo kwa skuba siba unto na bantu who sends in goes to Basiba and Dona Abesaba when I saw. Who sends in goes to Basiba and Dona Abala de la Wena Wupen. No ma is it as a Jessim Sabin is Iranat. Zitilili Vangeli must be tied. Salon So Mela in Dabayak. O Emela Osela Pam Sabin. O what is fully Sabantu. Uguba be cons of Jehovah. Sifundi Sabandu Uguchi betem with Jehovah. Sifundi Sabandu Babaz Uguchi Ujova, Lord Wai Konemandu. A e hola o cocobetu. Namanji useko. Sends and goes to Basina Sugi Wue. Singa Sugi go safe in Fundisunzako. Usbusi Sen Kulungulu as a paramin. Ushang and Kogong of Hamba wait. The lack of Amen. Amen. Amen.